about the meditations of the desert fathers. Uh, they were actually fathers and mothers, but they became known through history as the Desert Fathers. Uh, this group was one of the earliest records of Christian meditation. They lived in the deserts of Egypt, uh, mainly, uh, in the period from about 200, after the, 200 years after the death of Jesus um, on to about five or six hundred years and their influence was felt throughout all of uh, Christianity at the time both both affecting uh, Eastern uh, religions Eastern Christianity uh, and Western Christianity the Eastern Christianity uh, developed the meditation technique of hesychasm out of the work of the Desert Fathers in Western Christianity it was influenced by the Desert Fathers to create the rules of St. Benedict, uh, which turned into the meditations of the Benedictine order. So what did the Desert Fathers do? Basically they learned, they went to the desert to um, have silence, to have some, um, di to distance themselves from the regular world. Uh, one of the famous Desert Fathers was St. Anthony and he gave up all of his possessions to go into the uh, Egyptian desert. And he meditated by being silent, by repeating sections of the Bible, and by repeating what became a mantra, uh, Lord have mercy on me, Lord have mercy on me. It, it was the earliest form of Christian mantra that was used. One of the interesting things is the Desert Fathers were told to reflect upon what they would say in their defense upon their death in order to go into heaven. Uh, and so they were working towards a form of purity. As I mentioned earlier, the perhaps the most famous um, Christian meditator of this period was Saint Anthony, known as Anthony the Great. He lived from, um, he, he was about 100 years old when he died. He lived from sort of 250 through to 356, somewhere in that period of time. And he was in the desert from 270 all the way through to 356. He was very well known and, and he developed quite a following and there were actually at one point thousands of people who moved to the desert uh, to be with Anthony and they set up a community and they set up, uh, they had to come up with some rules of um, how the people could live together uh, in a way that would still not prevent them from being able to meditate in silence and etc. So they started developing some what became known as monastic rules. and. Out of these rules, of course, came the rules for monasticism uh, throughout Christianity for a long period of time. It was that a lot of people at this time did not know how to read. And so by reciting the Bible out loud in groups, uh, people could learn how to speak the Bible in, in much the same way as you see uh, some other religions where education is not widespread where repetition uh, of sections of their religious books are made over and over again so that people can commit them to memory. It's interestingly, from a meditation point of view, when we look at what we do today, um, many of the goals were very similar. They were looking to get rid of their what they called inner demons. We would today call them the emotions and feelings and negative thoughts but they were trying to eliminate those and to move more towards positive thoughts. Um, there are references in some of the writings about the Desert Fathers about them having a good time and they would laugh and um, enjoy each other's company. And then they would go away and they would be silent and work on the main aspects of what they were trying to achieve. So their goal was to try to develop 
themselves to become Jesus-like. And in that, they were trying to improve their ability to care for others and to instill them within themselves a self-discipline uh, an ethical base and, and values from the Bible so that they were basically trying to improve themselves to overcome their emotions to turn bad thoughts away to develop more good thoughts and if all of this sounds very familiar with what we do today in the process of mindfulness uh, and the meditation techniques of calm abiding and insight meditation, um, they are the same. The Desert Fathers, 18 to 1900 years ago, were working to achieve the same values that we try to achieve in the mindfulness and other meditative techniques that we use today. So there really is very little difference between what they were trying to do and what we try to do today. So can we learn from them? Of course we can. And in fact, there are techniques that they used um, where um, the repetition of biblical passages may appeal much more to people who come from a Christian background than uh, repeating some of the mantras, for example, that I have suggested. So you really need to do what makes you comfortable, but recognize that you don't reject what um, the Eastern religions are teaching simply because you don't like certain mantras. You need to consider what they're doing and what those meditative techniques are trying to achieve and how they match up with the value set that you have as a Christian. Be well, be happy, meditate.